Alright guys, good morning and welcome to the new video. As you can see, I'm walking towards my beautiful kitchen because in today's video, as you can see from the title, the one video that you asked most, to be honest, recipes, there is no recipes, there are just hacks, everyone can do it. All of the meals that I'm going to show you are basically prepared in two minutes and those are just a little hacks, a little add-ons to your normal food for have a much more volume to eat more basically for less calories adding maybe 20 calories on every meal but a double the volume if not you know triple or quadruple or whatever you want to call that a couple of that i hope you're going to find convenient and try it out so whoever is new on youtube channel before we start the video hit that subscribe button like button road to 20k appreciate you and love you all sit back relax and let's start preparing the meals Guys, I'm gonna do a little voiceover, so let me know later in the comment section is that good or would you like me to write everything down on the screen. With that said, we are starting with the ingredients that we need. The simple, that's not a recipe, but a hack. We need a sugar free jello. I used two packages of that. Uh, then we obviously put it in a bowl. Need uh, two cups of uh, boiling water, which we uh, spill all over the sugar-free jello then we mix it around until it's all dissolved let's just say two minutes then i add a uh, premier protein you can mix it with the water if you want your normal whey protein with the water or with the almond milk so it has been almost two cups but i'm adding on the cashew milk just to fill those two cups because it needs to be two cups of a boiling water basically and two cups of a cold water instead of a cold water i'm putting the protein once again because of consistency because of creaminess because of taste and because of extra protein right uh, then you mix it all around until it's fully dissolved and I usually do it in the morning and leave it in the fridge until the evening But it needs to be in the fridge for at least four hours After that as you can see jello is pretty much thick and then you can top it off with whatever you want in this case I top it off with the Walden Farms sugar-free uh, Syrup and PB2. I also do have a salad which is like a hack. I'm gonna explain you right now and all right guys messy here you know the drill but we are talking right now about the high volume high protein recipes right we're gonna start with this huge bowl of salad now when i say huge that means probably like triple size of my head it's around five pounds in this like it's really heavy i can do curls with this even if i bull guys i will always eat these kind of meals because i love to enjoy the food i love to eat food like longer so that's why i'm making those kind of salads uh, you can basically bake spinach right and that spinach will be from a high volume it's gonna come to like almost nothing you know how it goes so this is exactly that just not baked so it's a high volume but it's thin, still that your body digested almost the same as a baked one right so what we have inside you can play with it obviously but what, what i always put inside is the lowest basically uh, everything in calories for as far as concerned vegetables or berries so we have a, a like a two to three hundred grams of a spinach two to four hundred grams of uh, lettuce basically just vitamin c uh, we have a fresh cucumber inside sometimes i add on asparagus sometimes i, I add green beans sometimes i add mushrooms because everything is like pretty low in calories right right now i don't have it also you can play with your meats with your protein uh, protein inside you don't have to put even a meat you can you can put a cottage cheese or something uh, feta cheese whatever your macros are hitting that day the most important that gives us volume is basically those greens besides the greens i have a strawberries because as i said they are the lowest in the calories so we have like 200 grams of a strawberries almost nothing in the calories from a protein source right now chicken breast inside sometimes i'll put steak as i already said sometimes i'll put shrimp shrimp is the perfect option because it's more volume lean high protein right obviously the zero calorie dressing golden palms i use usually uh, ranch also what i do have a mustard and I put seasoning inside, stuff like, you can play with it, as I already said, oregano, uh, some uh, Italian seasoning, stuff like that, so it tastes more like a pizza salad, I don't even have to explain, and I always top it up with like 10 to 20 grams of Parmesan cheese, basically, once again, just because of the flavor, so 
this huge meal calories and macros is gonna be on the screen ridiculous that's what i'm saying just play with it but the base is always basically spinach and lettuce a lot and that gives us immediately that huge huge bowl with that said one more thing that i have always combining that with the sweets so what i do have right now here it's easier thing ever like either i did eat this before the sleep always even if i hit my macros guys even if i hit it's all low in calories that even if i hit my macros i will still eat it or uh, anabolic ice cream which i'm gonna show you two packets of a sugar-free jello inside it's pretty simple to make obviously then uh, the new thing that i uh, that i started to do is basically adding a protein inside instead of a water guys that's a something totally different level so it needs to be cold obviously because you're mixing it in with the hot water so i usually use those premier proteins so i put the premier protein inside and just to fill those two cups added also a cashew milk inside uh, so basically it's a protein jello just literally a protein nothing else then after that you can play with the toppings for example now i put on the top zero calorie Walden farm chocolate thing and I sprinkle it around with the PB2 fat free whipped cream it's also going to be on the top that goes the best with those kind of things so the pure bowl without the toppings calories and macros going to be listed on the screen once again big as my head probably like two to three pounds so I have like for example this whole meal is under thousand calories and I have like seven pounds of food I'm eating this meal for like two hours yeah basically that's going to be it for these two meals let me show you another one all right guys not gonna show you this because this is exactly the same recipes for a sugar-free jello two packages premier protein everything how it was in the last recipe exactly the same the only difference that right now i have a cauliflower inside as well the cauliflower rice is put uh, basically when you put the premier protein at the same time and that's gonna be it saw it finally because you know the drill it's a basically based like an anabolic uh, ice cream from greg the set simple as that you can mix it around for example uh, i put a cinnamon protein powder from a, a final boss performance by the way also this kind of code if you want to use it and then i put the strawberries which is already a flavor of a like a you know cinnamon strawberry and then a little bit of uh, greek yogurt only because basically consistency consistency is much much better but what i do have on the top as i said you can play but i just put on the top literally the 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 walden farms caramel syrup and i topped it with a brown sugar substitute zero calorie swirl calories and macros for this meal gonna be listed on the screen right now just for you to see they're ridiculous all right guys we came to my favorite recipe of them all I sometimes i even indulge into this on my cheat days what we're gonna need is oatmeal in my case i use 100 grams of an oatmeal but you can use 50 grams you can use 150 grams depends if you bulk or cut whatever uh, we also have inside some stevia and then uh, depending on how much you put oatmeal you put 10 times more liquid inside i use 100 grams so i put 1100 milliliters of water inside also here i'm adding on the coconut flavoring uh sugar free obviously zero calorie whatever one you want to use caramel vanilla i just had a coconut so i did that then we need to put it obviously in a microwave uh, after we mix it all around for a five minutes as you can see couple of times in a circle while it's in the microwave we prepare our gelatin i use three packages of a gelatin you leave it for two minutes in a cold water simple as that and then again back to back in a microwave a couple of times the gelatin goes before the last circle in the microwave then we put it in the fridge i usually leave it in the fridge for a whole day or overnight because longer is in the fridge basically the thicker consistency is gonna be as you can see this huge volume is now really really thick and now we have a 
huge bowl of oatmeal then we're gonna add on our ingredients to even more double up the volume that we're gonna have uh, i usually use vanilla greek yogurt i uh, in this case i use two servings which is around 340 grams as i said just to double up the volume even more but the most important is part is consistency it's much much creamier much more tastier obviously because of vanilla flavoring inside and as you can see it's like a perfect perfect consistency thick and it doubles up the volume once again then i have a berries here because berries are usually the lowest in the calories so that's why i use them i use around 300 grams of that also doubles up the volume even more uh, obviously put them in the oatmeal and then again mix it all around as you can see a lot of mixing basically so it's uh, low key a cardio as well you're gonna burn some calories also and enjoy the meal after that the best meal ever as i said i use it on cheat meals right now i'm topping with with the pure cocoa powder natural cocoa powder or either it's gonna be that it is gonna be pb2 just for additional flavoring almost nothing of calories and this whole bowl is around six pounds guys six pounds of deliciousness so try it out take me somewhere and enjoy your meal all right guys i guess i'm filming everything in my room right but what i'm doing throughout this video is basically preparing the meals because they need to stand in the fridge and then in the evening i'm showing you basically all the meals so what we have here is this monstrosity of a meal this is monstrous imagine having this in your stomach so me and me and harry just waited that it's gonna be on the screen this is actually six pounds worth of food and before i tell you what is actually inside i'm gonna put the calories and macros for this meal and that's probably if not my favorite meal of them all i usually have a, my refeeds or cheat days with this kind of meals i just instead of uh this topping that i'm gonna explain later i just put a cereal on the top and stuff like that so you can play with that also you can it can be a bulking meal it can be a cutting meal if you have a big stomach while you're bulking then go for it but i wouldn't recommend because it's pretty tough to eat and i eat this for two hours but anyways what we do have you saw the calories and macros which is ridiculous if i show you a little bit like closer then you can see how big it is i mean six pounds guys so you saw the whole process i make oatmeal in the morning a lot more water than usual i use 100 grams of oats but you can use 50 grams of oats and still have like at least four pound meal water wise i put 10 times more water if it's oatmeal 100 grams i'll put a uh, probably like one liter of water inside maybe even more normal gelatin uh, powder gelatin i use three packages which is additional actually 18 grams of a protein 70 extra calories only and 18 grams of protein which is ridiculous i didn't even put the whey protein inside guys and i leave it usually in the morning in the fridge until the evening uh, their consistency is like really really creamy but still really thick that's why i'm adding on more than two servings of a uh, be good vanilla greek yogurt uh, you can play with the flavor drops inside you can put i put a coconut right now because that's the only that i had usually i will make with vanilla sugar-free calorie-free drops or uh, sugar-free caramel syrup uh, and stuff like that depends what flavor do you like you can put a protein inside then it will be even thicker if you put whey protein the, the most important part is basically jello and a lot of water and leave it throughout the whole day and usually i eat this as a last meal of my day bump up even more volume as i already said greek yogurt and a strawberries because strawberries are the lowest in the calories but you can go with any kind of fruit with anything with the cereal as i already said it all depends on you you can customize this meal as much as you want what i like to do is literally this and then in the end every single bite basically i i top it with the cocoa powder or pb2 like this so i will eat it from the top basically just grab it like this <laughs> Go all the way to the top when the cocoa powder is gone i sip it a little bit more that's about it not gonna talk too much about this my favorite meal of them all try it out take me somewhere let's see what's the next recipe and of 
to the next one yet simple again we're gonna make a cauliflower fried rice first we're gonna need uh, six ounces of uh, mushrooms then we're gonna need instant package of a uh, cauliflower rice which you can buy in any grocery store then we add on a spinach and then put a lean off just for the spinach to settle down a little bit so you can mix it more easier then we adding on already boiled asparagus I chopped them in little pieces and then we adding on our seasoning I usually like to use Italian seasonings and stuff like that for like additional flavor such as oregano and uh, Italian seasoning as I already said I also added some lemon pepper then we're gonna need only 50 milliliters of a cashew milk just to add that creaminess to that consistency put a lid on it again I'll leave it for a couple of minutes to boil and then adding or our egg whites in this case I added 400 milliliters of an egg whites and then stir it around for a while until it gets basically fried rice, cauliflower fried rice, put it in a bowl and top it with any condiments that you wish. I put it honey mustard and I always top it off with the parmesan cheese as I already said I like that Italian style so it reminds me of that. You can put whatever you want or disclude that. I also added some guacamole on the top and voila, enjoy again the savory one in this case. We're rolling. All right, guys, the last recipe that I'm gonna show you in today's video, don't worry, it's it was not a lot, but I didn't wanna put everything in one video because I have plenty more, so I'm gonna actually start including those recipes in my full day of eating and stuff like that. But the rest, last recipe that we have uh, is, uh, you saw it basically, cauliflower fried rice. While I'm showing you that, it's not any kind of recipe, but look at the size of a bowl once again. Huge bowl, now we saw all the ingredients. What I can say about that, it's like nothing special as every my recipes, they're just hacks basically, not the recipes. Now what you can do is play with your uh, vegetables, it doesn't have to be mushrooms, doesn't have to be spinach, you can put whatever you want, I put spinach, I put mushrooms, I put asparagus. Also I did it now with the egg whites, today is on my menu is with the egg whites, that's what I wanted to say, but what you can play with a uh, protein source, usually I will actually put shrimp inside or a chicken breast or a beef and you will have basically the same thing, it probably would taste even better, but the highest volume I will say it definitely comes with the egg whites. Put a little bit of guacamole, also you can play with the condiments, you can play with the spices, everything. So I'm just gonna pop the calories and macros on the screen for this huge meal once again. So if you eat like those kind of meals every single day, basically you're not gonna have so much strength because those are not the meals that give you so much power and strength in the gym and everything right you don't feel bad at all because you're eating so much your body just thinks that and you basically think it's like a placebo that you eat much more than you actually are so if you like eat five six meals like that per day you can't hit more than 2500 calories and that's basically a deficit and i literally enjoy all those kind of meals because the spices condiments it's so easy to make jello now when i start preparing with the with the milk pff, amazing top the jello whatever you want top with the strawberries top with the greek yogurt you can play with it it's just like those are not even recipes those are little hacks that you can add on also one big hack is also even if i eat a rice normal when i do i actually add on the cauliflower rice inside so again doubles up the volume for like 60 calories only which is ridiculous those little hacks adds on to our like every single day then in the end of the week you're in a huge deficit obviously you can treat yourself or just like continue to shred down or whatever what i actually do is like eating throughout the week like this I do also have obviously high carb, moderate carb, low carb days, but it's a, if it's a lower carb day, then I will eat five days per day meals like this. If it's a higher carb day, I will still implement at least two meals like that and the rest will be like normal rice and a, uh, oatmeal and stuff like that. But even with that, I showed you, uh, I had sometimes uh, cauliflower rice in an oatmeal. I had jello in an oatmeal, in a rice, cauliflower rice. I always find a way to volume things up because it just fills me up and even though it's not so much calories i still my energy is still, still pretty high uh full of micronutrients full of macronutrients i hit my protein goals every single day easy a lot of fiber now you don't want to go over like 50 50 grams of fiber i will say per day with those kind of meals you can definitely go overboard so keep an eye on that science said up above 70 grams actually of fiber is not so good for your body uh, but that's on the other topic with that said uh, that's basically it what i'm going to show you for this video 
put the comments down below did i help you in any sort of way shape or form uh, i just did it like literally filming throughout the week uh, while i was eating all of that i have a lot more actually hacks and everything which i'm as i said gonna provide for you just put the comments down below what else kind of things you want to see with that said the meal is waiting getting cold so i need to indulge right enjoy myself take a little bit on the top i put the mustard you can put a barbecue sauce uh, a little bit of guac look at this view this is asparagus mushroom egg whites parmesan guacamole i mean come on oh my god if someone serves this in a restaurant, you'll be really happy. I'm just gonna tell you that. With that said, wrapping video right here. If you're always new on YouTube channel, the like button, the subscribe button, welcome to this channel. Tell your mom, dad, dogs, everyone around you. I'm getting tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you once again for watching. Love you, appreciate you. And I see you very soon. As always, in my next video. Just comment whatever you want and you'll see that video.